All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to actually transfer your stencil into the clay. Now, if you didn't have enough clay, if your, if your clay was not big enough when you rolled it out, if it wasn't big enough for the clay, you can definitely see this one is not large enough. Um, if it got to the point where you gotta go a little bit thinner, so be it, but don't go too thin. I'd rather you make a little bit smaller tile, okay, than actually like making this way too thin. You can definitely see this is way too thick right now. It definitely needs to be rolled out, but <clears throat> you can see the thickness of this clay is actually really, really good. Okay, if you had to go a little bit thinner than this, that's totally fine, but not too much. Maybe, 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 maybe like an eighth of an inch to maybe three eighths. So now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a sharp pencil, and you can see it's pretty sharp, or you can take a nice toothpick, or you can even take that, that little um, paper clip that I've unfolded on you, you can use that. I like a pencil, and I'm right-handed, so what I'm gonna do, first thing I wanna do is mark my corners. Now, when I mark it, you're gonna see that I'm gonna make little L's at the corner, and you can kinda of tell, see the little L? The L is important because the clay will stretch as you cut it. So I'm making L's at every corner, and I'm trying to be as accurate as possible. Now, I wanna move briskly because if I don't, the paper's gonna start getting really gooey. So what I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna actually poke through the, the paper. And you don't always have to go all the way through. And you don't always have to go and do every line. If you bust through like I did there, that's totally fine. These circles, I am not gonna transfer because I'm gonna actually stamp those in. So I should be good. You will feel your, the tip of the pencil going through more as the clay gets, as the paper gets gooier. So like there, I wanna get to the tip of that one. So that was important. There, I wanna definitely be here and get into the tip of that one and move on and so on and so forth. So if I hold it and I pick this up, I can show you that it's starting to transfer into the clay. You can see little tiny dots. Um, if that's not good enough, you're like, I don't think I can see very good, then purposely go through a little bit deeper. That's totally fine if that's better for you. And then you can definitely see if you wanna go a little bit deeper, okay? And from there, <clears throat> what we're gonna do, let's pretend that I'm done. And for the simple fact, you guys know I'm not done, but let's pretend that I'm done. Get the paper off, okay? Remove the paper, you'd have all your dots. And then from here, what I would suggest is get your ruler. Use your ruler, <clears throat> and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this out. Now I'm gonna take the knife that I gave, that I gave everybody, I'm gonna lay it here, and I'm gonna put the, the knife up against it, and I don't want to cut all the way through. The clay is way too strong. Make a series of cuts. If you notice, my knife is not angling. It's straight up and down. And if you keep going, the knife sinks in nice and clean. Now, if I make a mistake, I'm gonna make a mistake here. If you notice I made a mistake, it's to the outside. It's the extra clay. I'm not going in. So when you lay your ruler down, have it on the inside of the line. And I'll show you on the next cut. And I'm almost all the way through. This one, I'm gonna be a little bit more deliberate with my cut this time. Still pulling, nope, it's pulling too much, so I wanna do some more cuts. More cuts are better than trying to muscle it. If you muscle it, you could have a problem. So there we are. That piece is good. I can lift this up, slowly peel it, rotate it. And what I mean by the inside of the line, you can see there is, part of my L is there and there. I'm gonna go on the inside and then once again, now another thing I like to use is I like to use something sharp like a toothpick. So if you watch, if I keep it angled and I move, you can see I can move actually really quick because it's rubbing up against. If you notice, this actually works better than a knife. And I'm almost all the way through. And you can see it's a much cleaner cut than even the knife side, okay? And you would actually cut out all around. And then once you're done, you would start to connect your dots. So I would take this and start to connect my dots. Again, you would have your full design in there. I didn't do that. On this design, you know, I'd only want to get the lines, not the dots. All right, see you guys in class.